nothing much to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake Behold, my trucker station came to an end But behold, a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music, there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for... Good morning, ladies and gentlemen Well, we are just leaving the Husky right now We already finished doing our delivery in 200 meters, turn right on Dixie Road. Uh, that four. was early this morning. We went and did our trailer switch. You just have to drop the trailer at the customer, and, uh, and then he wanted me to grab an In empty right away meters, too. So I said, "All right." On Atlantic Drive. So I grabbed the empty and went back to the Husky. Yeah, that's right. It was quite an meters. interesting Turn morning. Dixie Road, R4. That's right. It was a fairly interesting morning. And what I mean by that is when I was on my way over to my delivery, there was actually a guy up there driving. He had two, uh, two trailers behind him, a semi-tractor trailer. And uh, one of his tires, or I guess one of his brakes, was locked up. And so he uh, he was just driving, you know. And finally, I got out of CB radio and I said, uh, you know, you got a you got a wheel there dragging behind you. <laughs> and he says, who? And I said, I'd explain to him who I'm talking to. And he said, oh shit, thanks for letting me know. He looked in his mirror, finally, and he's, oh yeah, I see a lot of smoke in the back there. I'm like. How can you not notice that that a wheel is dragging on you on a pretty much almost dry asphalt? <laughs> you know, it must be hard to take off and stuff like that. It must be dragging, you know. But yeah, you know, some people, eh? This amazes me how people don't notice that In their wheel is dragging. You know, I mean, you can see Daniel there's no East, ice on the road. Five. You know, and then this tire was just squealing and smoking like crazy. You know. <laughs> And then, if that wasn't enough, on my way back from delivering my load, just there by the light by the airport, there uh, was like a little uh, toll truck. I don't know if it was actually a toll truck, but it was one of them uh, small trucks that's got a flatbed there. And uh, he had a couple of uh, lifter things on it, whatever, you know, and uh, the light was red. And I was all the way in the left lane because at the next light I needed to make a left hand turn to get onto this uh, Dixie Road, right? And so uh, we stopped pretty much exactly at the same time and just as he stopped, somebody rear-ended him. Boom, you know? My goodness. So it's been an interesting morning. But uh, we got a reload now, supposedly. And I gotta go up here to the terminal and switch trailers again. And uh, I'm supposed to pick up a heated heater trailer, so I'm gonna have a heater unit on my on my re on my trailer. And then I'm supposed to go over and uh, pick up a load here just on the corner. Anyways, after I make my trailer switch here and pick up a reefer or not really a reefer unit, it's just a heater unit. Then I'm going to go down the road here and uh, pick up a load, most of life load over there. And then I got a extremely long trip. Yes, it looks like I may not be home before Christmas too much. Yeah, it looks like uh, I'm going to go all the way back through Canada, pretty much to the other side of Canada. That's what it looks like right now. Right now I'm supposed to uh, pick up this uh, load, make one drop in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, make another drop. There's on the way to BC, or it's already in BC, but on the way over to Vancouver area. And then uh, the last drop in Abbotsford, BC. So that is a very, very long meters, trip. Turn right on. Van That's right. And then turn right in 180 meters. So we may have.
have to take a reset somewhere on the road, may not, we'll see, but all I know is a long, long trip. It's 4,400 kilometers plus from where I'm at right now to my final destination, to my delivery. That's not even coming back home yet. So, uh, I got a few miles to drive yet. <laughs> Anyways, we'll be meters. right back, y'all. I have gotten our load on. Turn left on Airport yeah. Road, RR7. Now we are going meters. to go towards on. the uh, RR7. Flying J. Not sure what this guy is trying to do, but anyways, we're going to go to the Flying J, back to Mississauga. Well, this is part of Mississauga too, but then we'll go fuel up. Once we are done fueling up, then we'll, uh, well, maybe I'll go take a shower first and then swap around and fuel up. And then uh, we'll be hightailing out of Toronto. That's right. Construction ahead. That is very, very true. But I do need meters. kind of fuel. Down road east. Oh, I really five. do. Speed warning. Alright, alright. I guess we gonna have to stop for this light. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and do that. And then we got a long way ahead of us to drive. That's right. 42 north side, we're coming back your way. That's right. You get another chance to meet with me. <laughs> That's right. Well, we'll see. I might just continue on though. Because I want to get out of here and I want to try and get over there as soon as I can. And that way I can make my delivery there early Thursday or Friday, I mean. And then I would like to uh, go over as close to my second delivery as I can and possibly take a reset if I could, you know. Because it's a long way down there, so we just might have to take a reset. But anyways, let's go over there and do our thing, and then we'll be back a little bit later. Well, I guess if you guys want to look how close I am to the airport, just look here over to the left. You'll see an airplane right there. And there's one hidden over there as well. Uh, you can't really see that one, but uh, the one there ahead of me there towards the left there, you should definitely be able to see that one. Yeah, we're literally like just on the other side of the airport. That's where we picked up our load and now we're going to the other side of the airport. And that's where the uh, Flying J is, just a little bit down the road from there. That's right. Yeah, here we are at the split of the 400 and uh, I guess uh, Highway 11. That's right, and it's raining. Or trying to rain anyways. That's right. Just got to slow down a little bit to go over this curve. Or I'll go around this curve, I guess. But yeah, we're going to go Highway 17 again. That's right. I just like going Highway 17. Well, sometimes it's not the best, but... Sometimes it's also not bad. Yeah. I think we're gonna go around this truck. It's going a little slower than me. So we'll get around it and put road, the hammer down. Kilometers. There we go, 277 kilometers to Sudbury, Ontario. That's right. That is right. Well, that one says 295, but this one here says uh, 276. But uh, they're still calling for some ice rain up there in Sudbury area. So hopefully that's not going to be too bad of an ice rain up there. When we get up there, you know. Hopefully we'll be all right. But well, we got really a super, super long trip, that's for sure. That's right. We do have a heat 
winter unit trailer behind us. So I guess when it gets a little colder towards Manitoba, that thing is probably going to be running. I got it set for 60 Fahrenheit, or I think 59 or something like that. So we'll keep it above freezing. That's right. But it's a good load. It's not super, super heavy. It, uh, I think it came out to 37,000 pounds altogether, according to my paperwork. So that's all right. Nothing to shake a stick at, I guess. <laughs> I just heard that slang somewhere some time ago, but whatever. Anyways, we'll put the hammer down and uh, see up to where we can make it tonight. We just got 12.30 right now. We had a bit of a slowdown there earlier. Apparently there was an accident, but I never saw anything. I think it was just a construction. I came down from three lanes into two lanes, and I think that's what it was. I think it was just slowing down because of that. Other than that, I didn't get the chance to take a shower there at the Flying J. I, I went inside and got me a shower, and then I looked at the board. I couldn't believe it. I was 48, 49, 52. Uh, well, 48, 49, 50, 51, and I was number 52. And they only have a few showers there, so that was going to take a while to get a shower. So then I climbed back in the truck, filled up, and parked again. and walked back, and it was still sitting at 48, so I said, forget it. I'm canceling my shower, so I'll get me a shower somewhere else. I wanted to get some miles in tonight to get out of Toronto before rush hour started, right? So, uh, we're gonna get a shower somewhere on the road here. Hopefully soon, hopefully today. If not today, for sure tomorrow. Tomorrow, I don't care. Tomorrow, I'll be going by Thunder Bay by that Flying J and I'll go in there and grab me a shower. I don't care, I need a shower. But it's actually nice and warm up here. It's like plus 12 right now, so it's kind of war too warm to actually get ice. I don't know where they're talking about ice rain yet, but I guess the further north we go, I guess the colder it will become, right? Alrighty guys, we are just coming into Sudbury, Ontario. That's right. Yeah, I told you about yesterday when I come through here. 42 North Side lives up here. That's why he calls himself 42 North Side, I guess. That's right. We got a uh, Petro Pass up here. And that's a truck stop. In two kilometers, take uh, the entrance to the right on Highway 17 West, RDE 17 West, Salt Suite. I am going to go ahead and pull her in over there. Probably clean my lights, clean my mirrors and everything, make sure everything is good to go. Because it's starting to get dark already. So that way, uh, by the time it's all the way dark, I get me uh, some clean lights and I can see something, you know. Anyways, let's go over there and do that. And then uh, we have a few hours to drive yet. Well, at least I want to anyways. I won't really exactly have to, but I kind of want to, but. Yeah, as soon as we get over this hill. That's where we got that uh, petrol pass. GPS is obviously telling me to take this exit, but uh, we're not going to do that. Because we're taking the exit there for that petrol, so here we go. I guess that other truck wants to come in there too. Or maybe not, I don't know. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, it looks like it. Anyways, we'll go in here. This is where that petrol pass is. Yeah, GPS says speed warning right up there already, and the sign is only up here for further down the road where the 60 speed limit is. So, yeah, 
bulk of DF. I don't know what that means or supposed to mean. I guess this truck wants to clean his lights too. I think everybody wants to do that. So we'll see you guys a little bit later, I guess. I am in White River, Ontario. Yes. And it actually is white out here. Let me open the window a little bit. Yeah, you might get a little blow with the wind, but other than that, yeah, it's <laughs> fairly windy out there and it's cold too. Got down to like minus five Celsius already. And uh, it was ice raining earlier. And once I passed Wawa there, it was terrible the snow plows hadn't been going through it and so the first few hills i was spinning quite a bit going up them hills so it was definitely a challenge getting up to white river up here but we made it we are in a safe spot now so we are calling it a day yeah that's right went and checked my heater unit still at 56 degrees so it's doing its job heating the, the product and uh, we are ready for bed it's like 11 15 right now at central standard time it's already 12 15 <laughs> eastern time but yeah we are done we're gonna go to bed here very shortly we're not even gonna put a video together or nothing like that I'm tired it's been a long day. I think we had like a thousand and fifty four kilometers in today. That's getting closer to seven hundred miles. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Probably well about six hundred and sixty miles probably. Roughly a rough estimate. But uh, yeah. It's been a good day worth of driving. We got about the same amount of miles to do tomorrow, and now we'll be home. So let's go to bed and see what we can do. Hopefully you can get a good night's sleep. Hopefully the truck won't be shaking too much from this wind. And then we'll continue our journey on tomorrow. So thank you guys for watching. And stick around for tomorrow, because uh, we might have some interesting clips. Especially with this new uh, snowfall that we got up here. The so let's stick around, let's, let's watch it. We'll see you again tomorrow then. It's time to get going, it's time to move on. Put this behind me, that day is gonna come. I'm breaking the walls down.